So, Ozone, last thing you remember is running out of breath and hearing poor Stu cry out in pain. After that, you okay. don't remember anything. You have fallen unconscious, and after okay. a few hours, you wake up and you're lying on the ground in a foresty area. Uh, what is the uh, current time? Or is it dark out, light, midday? It's going to be about midday. Maybe like a couple more hours passed, but about midday. All right, midday. And now uh, am I in a completely new location or am I still roughly around where I like fainted? Make a perception roll. You get up, you take a look around, mm -hmm. and not instantly, but after you know a couple look arounds, you realize that um, you are not in the same location as you were. In fact, somehow you've been moved to a different part of the forest. Or at least, that's what you feel. You also Good notice feel. that you can no longer see the northern red oak tree, nor okay. are e any of your friends near you, or around you. Neither is Stu. Stu is Neither gone. Is Stu. Stu is gone. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to have to just hope Stu can make it on his, his own for now. Uh, so the first thing I think I want to do is uh, take an inventory of what I have. If, uh, if anything was, like, looted off of my person or okay. um, just do a quick wellness check. You got it. Um, so you do a quick wellness check and nothing's been taken from you. Not even nothing. any of the gold from your bounty. Okay. 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 Um, not even the map either. Okay. So let me think about this. Okay. Uh, I am going to try out a new spell that might help or it might not. Ooh. All right. I would like to... Uh, cast Wild Cunning. Wild Cunning? What level spell wild is that? That is going to be a level two spell. No, it's level one. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, so so you call it to the spirits of nature to aid you when you cast a spell, choose one of the following. If there are any tracks on the ground within rage, you know where they are. Uh, and you make a wisdom... I mean, you may make wisdom, uh, survival checks to follow these tracks with advantage for one hour until you cast or until you cast it again. Uh, if there's edible forage, you know where to find it. If there's clean drinking water, you know where it's at. If there's suitable shelter for you and your pants within range, you know it and where to find it. Bring back fire. Okay, okay, okay. I got mm -hmm. you. I got you. So yep. what would you like to do? All right, so I would like the uh, spirits of the forest to aid me, and I want to see if there are any uh, visible tracks around me, whether they are uh, animal or human. My thought is that we all kind of like fell semi around the same place, so if my thought process, if I'm lucky, I might be able to find the... Uh, tracks of one of my friends. After casting a spell, some of the giggles, uh, so, sorry, some of the spirits oh, some start, of the giggles. Yeah, some of the giggles start to spirit. What? <laughs> yeah. Some of the spirit starts to giggle as they kind of point down at your feet and you notice that uh, you've made some tracks of your own. After mm -hmm. waiting just a couple minutes of trying to cover your tracks to, you know, not confuse the spirits, uh, one of them reports back to you, and they point out that there are indeed a set of footprints about the size of humans. All right. Well, I don't have any other leads, so I'm going to uh, uh, see. The spell lasts for an hour, so I might as well kind of just keep it on. doesn't really hurt me anything. Uh, use the... Yeah. All right, I'm going to venture forth, and I'm going to try and follow the tracks. So in that case, um, I want you to go ahead and make that survival roll with advantage. 
All right, so I roll with advantage. I'm expecting high numbers from you. <laughs> All right, uh, so you're going to take the 15 plus 4 for a okay. total of 19. Yep. Nice. All right. Um, you are able to follow these tracks. They are about the size of all ones, but they don't quite match the kind of shoes he's wearing or boots, I guess. Okay. But they're around the same size. Even though uh, I have a feeling that these are probably not any of my friends, it is still somewhere to to go, and I'm going to continue following them. All right, sounds good. Ozone, All right. I want yep. you to make one more final survival roll with advantage. Survival roll with advantage. All righty. Ooh, 16 plus 6. What? 22. Dang. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so you follow these tracks with, like, no problem. There was a moment where the tracks seemed to kind of, like, be very, very thin. But All right. it was enough to deter you, and you picked up on the trail rather quickly. In fact, nearly instantly. Miraculously, even. And okay. at some point, you kind of come to a clearing, and in this clearing, you see a small little cottage. I want you to go ahead and make a uh, intelligence roll, just straight up intelligence. Straight intelligence. All right, let's. Nat twenty. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> everyone's nat Hell twenty yeah. tonight. Wow. Hell yeah. All right. Well, this is gonna be fun. Upon first glance, you can tell that the cottage itself is well worn and rather small. Perhaps only a couple rooms. Um, at max is what this cottage has in store for you. Although when you look down, you notice that the tracks lead straight to it. And there is indeed a small light in the window. There's a small light in the window. Okay. Yep. The window itself is heavily obscured. And just by looking at it, you know, you won't be able to see clearly enough through it. All right. Uh, I'm going to... All right, uh, stay where I am, and I'm just going to kind of call out towards the camp, the cabin. Hello? Is anyone in there? Uh, you don't get any response. All right, well, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cast uh, Goodberry, kind of have some, some berries in my pocket, how many berries would you like to cast? Uh, I think it's just automatic. I, uh, I you choose up to ten. ten. Oh, I choose up to ten. Yep. All right. Well, I'm trying to think. Well, if there's a possibility, I might be running into my companions. Uh, actually, no. I don't want to cast good berry at the moment. I first. Sorry, I thought that was a cantrip. Nope. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna very cautiously. Go up to uh, the cabin. And okay. Knock on the front door. You go up to the cabin. You know, you knock on the front door. You wait for a moment, and uh, the door kind of opens by itself after a little bit. Um, okay. There's a, a faint dim light, but you hear a friendly voice. Hello. Oh. Oh. Are you a young whippersnapper by chance? Um, I mean, I suppose. Oh, well, come on in. I could use a little bit of help. I need some young men to help me out. Nice and strong. My old back can't take it anymore. Uh, alrighty. Um, alright, uh, I guess I'll walk inside the very not obvious you know trap as you start to walk in you get a strange feeling at the back of your neck you turn around and at first you don't really see anything but then you hear a monstrous roar coming from the woods oh shit all right and you head back in and he shut the door, uh, hoping uh, that this little cottage is going to keep out whatever might be out in the woods. 
I hope I don't just shut the door. I hope I slam the door. I want to just make that clear. Like, oh, a giant monster coming right at me. We're just going to slowly shut this door. No, it's like, oh, shit, mon- click, oh, shit. slam. <laughs> All right, you slam yep. the door shut. All right, perfect. Everything okay there, whippersnapper? Uh, no, not really. Oh, uh, uh, what's wrong? A uh, giant monster coming straight for us. Oh, how do you know it's coming straight for us? <laughs> uh, it's running towards our general direction, so just kind of kind of guessing. Well, let's hope that uh, it just kind of passes over us. Maybe it doesn't want to, you know, get in a little cottage. Who knows? Um, but. If worse comes to worse, like, you know, I, I, I can put up a magic barrier. Oh? You kind of walk in, you know, a little bit further, and you turn around the corner, and you notice that there's a gentleman, a very old gentleman, mind you, like, really old, like, cliche, bald head, super long, white, scraggly beard, you know, and okay. he's going through some books, and you notice that there's a small fireplace, and in fact... It's the light of the fireplace that's giving that dim light from the that kind of reflects off the window. And you notice that the ent- almost the entire room is littered with books. A lot of books. What are you currently reading? Uh, the gentleman looks up. Oh, well, I I honestly don't know. You see, I can't read this language. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I take a look? Oh, go for it. Um, he kind of gestures you to come closer to him so he can hand you the book. Um, as you hesitate, you notice that this gentleman is stuck in a chair. And I mean, like, not, you know the right word I'm looking for, right? Where, like, you're, mm-hmm. it's not like a wheelchair. It's just, like, he's crippled he's, he's kind of crippled but not, yeah. not really crippled he's just like yeah he, it, by the looks of it his legs won't be able to support him right okay but this gentleman does appear to be very friendly Alrighty. um so i will very cautiously uh go over and uh take the book um, when you take a look in the book, you notice that it is written in a language that you are unfamiliar with. I am unfamiliar with. Okay. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with it, but do I know what the language is at least? You're not entirely sure, although there okay. are a couple characters that are very similar to your Druidic language from back home. Okay. Okay, so it's a uh, root language then. Okay. Well, Shani, can you make any sense of it? I'm afraid not. It has some similarities to my druid language, but other than that, I really can't uh, decipher it. Maybe, you know, uh, educated guess for a word here and there, but nothing concrete. You're a druid, huh? I am. Oh, I might have a couple things. Um, so, my name's Hank. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, I'm a researcher, and I'm looking for the truth. There's a rumor that, well, it's kind of interesting. You see, there's this thing called the Old One. However, when you take a look at the, um, current text, nothing's ever mentioned about them. However, ancient depictions from... Um, like in uh, from previous civilizations, they have mentioned the old one. What I'm trying to do is trying to figure out what the old one is. And, well, gosh darn it, I, I can't, you know, I just, I'm only human. I don't have, like, a long lifespan like the elves or, you know, you know no offense, you know, or Genasis or anything, you know? Like, so... <sighs> It's been my life's work to look for the truth of the old one. And if you're a druid, that might help me out. 
there might be some books that are written only in your language, seeing as I'm not a druid. I There's nothing I could do to learn it. Um, but welcome to my humble abode. Uh, this is where I've collected multiple, multiple books um, in any language that I can't read. Although there are some I can. It's just like there's very few of those, except there is a cookbook mm. in, in, in common. All right. So, uh, can you help an old man out? I can sure try my best. Oh, why, thank you. Um, let's see here. He kind of looks around, and he points at a far corner, um, and, um, towards a big tower of books. Uh, I think you could start over there. I think that's where I put the books... Uh, that might be close close to the language of this one. Perhaps you okay. maybe you can find some of the Druidic books there. I will uh, head on over to the uh, corner and uh, yeah, start flipping through some pages. Uh, if thinking how the character would think, I probably started by you know quickly shifting through the books to see which ones I could read and then setting those ones to a side and then the ones that I couldn't read, putting those in like a different pile. So now I got, you know, probably, you know, roughly two piles of what I can read, what I can't read. And now I'm going to go back over the pile that I can read and actually more or less like, you know, skim read rather than just quick glancing to see if I can understand the language okay uh make a history roll for me history roll Ooh, 16 with your proficiency nice all right so in that case um you've gone through a few books that um you know that you have a decent sized pile and each of these books you've noticed that one or two of them are in fact in druid but a couple of these books are in primordial a very ancient language one that you barely have been able to pick up over your years of study that's very interesting because it says languages common proporeal deep speech and goblin druic yeah primordial yeah yes those very are cool those word. are the languages you're proficient in yes yes Yes. Oh, sorry. Just the way that you like <laughs> worded it was that. Yeah, it's the. This is the language, and you kind of know it, but oh, you're like, no, no, no. Okay. You're proficient in. It. It's just like it's one of the last languages you kind of picked up because it's a difficult language. Got to pick up. it. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. But no, you you definitely know this language. All right. Interesting. Well, yep. I'm gonna put that one, you know, in the uh, to the side as well, and continue reading it. I guess. Okay. Um, so as you kind of continue reading, uh, you feel as though um, that you're kind of missing something, but you're not entirely sure why yet. Uh, make mm. a history roll with... No, 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 not history roll. What, what am I... Make a wisdom saving throw, but I want you to have disadvantage on it. All right. And if anybody's listening, this is because we all keep rolling high and the DM wants something catastrophic to <laughs> happen. No, no, this no. was planned. I just can't believe you guys get rolling so high tonight. That's so wrong. So 12 plus 4. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So 16. 16. Okay. Okay. You faintly recall that Although you have agreed to help this gentleman out, you have somewhere to be. And okay. you also briefly remember that Stu is out there all on his lonesome. All right. Um, hey, uh, I'd love to continue helping you out. Maybe I can come back, but I just remembered... I really need to try and uh, find my friends and my pet otter. We got um, kind of unexpectedly uh, split up as we were trying to navigate through the woods. 
Oh? Well, um, are you sure you didn't at least find anything regarding the old one? Or at least be able to separate and figure out what you can and can't read? I was able to separate them into a couple of piles. All right. Now, uh, DM. Now, as a scholar type, would I have... Do I already know or have any knowledge of anything referencing the old one? Uh, you actually do not. Hmm, okay. Um, all right, well, I'm just going to leave it at that. Yep, I have sorted them into two piles of what I can understand and what I can't make out. Oh, well, why, thank you very much, but, uh, like, I... Uh, uh, mm. any chance you could help me at least decipher some of these? At, at least enough to where I can, like, be able to pick out which book has the old one. Um, yeah, I can, uh, spare, uh, at least another ten minutes. Oh, why, why, thank you so much. Um, so can you go ahead and grab those books and bring them over here and we can, you can go ahead and start helping me out here. Uh, I do just that. Uh, right. Pick up a few of the books and bring them over. All right. Anyway, so you are, you know, helping this gentleman, and I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the All right, rolls? so uh, 16 plus 6, that's 22. Yeah. Um, you... Don't really have a nagging feeling, but you realize that it's been a little bit more than 10 minutes, perhaps even 15 or 20. And mm -hmm. you start to realize that some of these books are actually starting to make more sense and you're able to start combing through them rather quickly. Um, mm. It takes you a little bit, but you kind of just start taking over and you just kind of like flip through pages and right. you do actually find in a small little black book and by little i mean uh, like a pocket size mm -hmm. scribbled in there is a detail about the old one uh i am going to take the little black book what i found and all right so before i bring it over and show this uh did i sorry did you say like the description of this uh elderly person or he's just mystery oh yeah guy. he was like um like a stereotypical old guy you know like okay he's got like he's got bald head he's got like uh, he's pretty short you know he's stuck to that chair um mm. he's got his pjs on he's got like a really long yeah. white curly beard oh, okay all right all right so before i go and say anything i want to quickly like reread the passage in this little black book about the old one make sure that it doesn't say something like uh you know <laughs> say this incantation out loud and you know shall summon the old one yada yada a thousand years okay. of darkness no i got you um, so you it, read some of it but some of it you can't quite make out either okay. Um, the text within this little book has faded or the language in it is too complicated to read, but it, you can make out a few things long ago, okay. old one havoc, the long ago, old one havoc. Okay. All right. Well, I will bring the book over to the, uh, elderly gentleman and, uh, Kind of tell them what I have found. Ooh, why, thank you there, whippersnapper. I, wait, did, did you say you found text regarding the old the, the old one? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I did find this little black book, and it does have some mention of a being referred to as the old one, whether that's the old one you are trying to find or look into that I do not know, but it is something. 
Oh, why? Why? Hand it here. And, and real, real quick, could you show me which page you found it on so I don't have to keep looking for it? All right, that's going to be uh, page 32. Hey, uh, he flips over to page 32, and he kind of squints a little bit, you know, kind of holds the grimoire, like, back and forth, you know, to and from his face, trying to, like, read it. And he pauses for a moment, and his eyes start to widen. By the gods, it's real. Why, whippersnapper, we found it. Oh my, oh my guts. I, I never thought I'd ever even find such a, anything regarding the old one. It, this is great news. And he starts to just kind of break down crying. Um, well, I am happy I could have been some moderate help why well thank you thank you so much um uh uh sorry you said you had to get somewhere was that right uh yes i'm looking for my friends oh he pauses for a moment is that so i at this point i want you to make a history roll but i do want you to have advantage on this History with advantage. Okay. And... All Did you right. fucking... What the fuck? <laughs> Did you really that 20 the nat 1 with advantage? Oh my god. All right. All right. So, oh my yep. god, what? Uh, so, uh, nat 20 and then a critical 1 plus 4. That's what awesome. The fuck? How? How do you? I am so glad I said advantage, not disadvantage, because like <laughs> I'm not lying, dude. Your last mm-hmm. roll determined if this roll gave you advantage or disadvantage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. The gentleman looks at you dead in the eye, and he stands up. Well, ozone sphere. I got one question for you. And he walks up uh, to you. And he has a big smile on his face. What are the names of your friends? Uh, so we have uh, Agatha, who is a lizard folk. Um, Ocean Storm, who is a king who. Um, the Doug, who is a half orc. And then my friend, Alwyn Leitner, who is a human. I thought you had five friends. Oh, uh, yeah, I, oh, I do. Uh, that would be uh, Stu, a little river otter. The gentleman nods his head with approval. Well, Ozone, I'm glad you can help me out. Here, he walks over to the flames. Just before you go, he reaches his hand into it. And he kind of like just lets it sit there for a little bit as he kind of digs around into the uh, the fire logs uh, and towards he till he can get you know, shuffle things around with his single hand and you know he um, finally pulls it back out and there's a small little bag in there uh, you know in his hand mm-hmm. it might be a little hot forgive the pun um, but here take this you'll need it uh, I will. Uh, gracefully accept the gift. Uh, well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, so I carefully reach out my hand and, uh, I'm gonna let him drop it into my palm. Okay. Uh, he drops it into your palm and it is pretty, pretty hot to the touch. Um, if you weren't a water genasi, this would actually burn you, but you do hear a little bit of sizzling and a little bit of steam. Mm. Or, right, and you yep. see a little bit of steam. At this point, you make your way out. So when you, on out. Yep. When you leave the little um, cottage, your bag, the little bag that the um, that Hank had given you, it begins mm-hmm. to glow, a mm. pale blue light. Oh, okay. Curiosity. Uh, I'm going to open the bag. When you open a bag, uh, open up the bag, you see a, a pretty decent sized stone. 
in there. Mm-hmm. It is the stone that is glowing. And you know that you are currently facing north. And when you reach in to pull it out, you kind of eye it a little bit. It's pretty decent size, you know, a little bit bigger than your hand. And it's got a nice curve to it. But um, on the opposite side of this curve is a, like, it's got like a little hook to it. As though mm. it is some form of bizarre looking jigsaw puzzle piece. Hmm. Okay. When you move it out of north, uh, you know, where north is, the glowing stops. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So I am outside. Uh, am I able to find any kind of, like, uh, vines uh, up nearby? Uh, you don't. Any kind of, like, stringed plants? No, I do not. No, nope. okay. sorry. But you do hear a familiar voice behind you. Follow the way. Well, uh, I'm going to uh, look, follow north and keep following it, uh, holding the stone out in, in front of me. Okay. Uh, you do so for quite a bit. And at some point, you come across a small little altar, or like a little pedestal. Um, and on top of this pedestal is a little altar. In fact, you see someone else there. The figure Hello. that you see is Doug, just kind of sitting around, not quite knowing what to do. Uh, hey, Doug. Who the heck is that? It is I ocean, not ocean. Wow, now I'm doing it. Ozone, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you guys. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> Ozone, how the heck are you? Uh, I'm good. A little confused. Ran into this uh, elderly, you know, guy in the middle of the woods in a cabin. Um, read some books uh he gave me a glowing rock which led me here oh somebody gave you yours oh sick i just found mine you uh, have a glowy oh. glowy rock well actually i put it in a in a hole it didn't do anything so i kissed it again uh and now i'm here interesting uh do i still have my glowy rock um your glowy rock is placed in the um altar Okay, so I'm still there. Okay, six, six, six. Yeah, uh, mine tasted a little bit, uh, a little bit salty. Not sure what that's about. What mm. did yours taste like? Uh, I haven't um, tasted mine yet. Uh, okay, so I'm so ozone thinks at this moment that Doug has like figured something out and that I should <laughs> lick the rock. So I'm gonna take the rock out. And I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, little, little salty, mm, kind of ashy, little, yeah, salty and ashy. Good to know, good to know. Well, okay then. <laughs> this is all good information. Yes, yes. All right, well, uh, I'm going to, uh, I don't know, you're the first one that I have ran into since that weird, uh, thing back with the uh the x and the uh the tree yeah that was strange wasn't it mm-hmm hmm. all right anyway uh so you said you put your rock in uh in a hole in like, an altar i did i did just over yeah. here just over here okay so i'm gonna head on over there uh again following uh the doug's example because you know <laughs> i'm i'm just guessing that doug's already figured all of this out uh, I'm gonna insert my rock into, uh, a hole as well. Okay. Uh, when you put it into the hole, uh, you notice that it's not like a hole. Like, there's multiple holes. There's just this one giant, like, embezzled hole. And oh, okay. you put your piece down, you let go, hoping it'd be magnetic, and it just kind of, like, falls. And it clinks with, um, Doug's piece. When you take a closer look, you notice that they don't exactly match. Different flavors. Uh, different flavors. Mm, <laughs> mm. I wonder if our friends have the correct flavors. Mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, 
Well, I hope they can get here soon. I don't. Yeah. It's a weird forest. Very weird forest. You guys actually happen to notice mm-hmm. as you're still kind of fiddling with uh, your your pieces. You're not quite sure how, but you notice that a piece, um, a good chunk of like this um, this uh, embezzled like hole, mm-hmm. is no longer there. In fact, mm-hmm. it appears that part of it has basically been like filled with like what looks to be like another piece of the puzzle and you see it kind of shift around a little bit as well hey uh we should probably grab that piece there and yank it out sure um as you guys try to yank out this piece you realize it's not budging and it appears to basically be like connected to this altar um good try though all right can we rearrange our pieces in some way to make them uh click or snap to the already existing piece on the altar yes all right i want you guys to make a sleight of hand roll watch i'm not gonna have any sleight of hand nope uh oh it's a plus four oh thank god oh dang uh Oh, let's go. Wow. And a night. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Uh, ten, Ozone, nine, you one. have a lot of trouble trying to move this piece. Mm-hmm. The Doug shifts his piece with these, and he's not quite able to fit it with the piece that seems to be shifting. Um, but he kind of like starts to take his piece and like kind of move it around. And um, eventually. You kind of just give up and say, you know what? Fuck it. And you just use both hands and you just try to pull out your piece so you can start adjusting it. So as you two start, you know, continuing to fiddle with your pieces, um, I want you guys to each roll a d20 straight up. No mods. All right. 14. Thank God. 17. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Um, Ozone, you notice Mm. just before Doug. That apparently, without you guys noticing, the piece that one of you had put in um, is now connected to a new stone piece that wasn't there before. Oh. Whoa. Do do you see what I see? Oh, my God. Are my eyes deceiving me? I think they are. Mine are also deceiving me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't know, are they? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Um, do we know what kind of temple this is? Like who, or what kind of altar this is? Uh, there are no markings to distinguish what sort of altar mm. um, this is or for whom. What the mm. heck? Mm. The DM slipped up. He did say for who, so this is indeed an altar for somebody or I did some say for whom, unknown. by the way. Yes. It's but back whom, now. yes. That that does include who. That's how that whom works, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well Well I'm I'm just saying that this isn't just some random, you know, rocks in the middle of a clearing. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I was getting at. Oh, oh, I see. Because I said for whom. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yes. Well, who's to say I slipped up? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it was um, planned all along. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So in that case, um, what do you guys want to do? Are you guys going to just kind of figure out some things around? Well, it's, uh, what time is it? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Okay. Correction, 4.20 um, p.m. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it just turned to 4.21 p.m. Damn it. We missed it. <laughs> ah, damn it. All right. All right. Um, well, uh, Doug, do we want to sit and wait here and and continuing, like, fiddling with, you know, the rocks? Uh, maybe another one of our friends will will join us or do we want to try and you know search for him i mean if uh if we're gonna go off of what happened to both you and i um 
the rest of the group should be getting like fancy rocks which should lead them here so i um, probably should wait but there's also the uh Mm, chance that you know our situation you know we're just you know separate you know the other you know others might be completely screwed right um yeah that's a i i say we could probably stick around and try to fiddle with stuff some more okay uh do our fancy glowy rocks are they still glowing um you um so one of them is the one that is connected to the stone is not really glowing anymore. Oh, interesting. But I will uh, well, say that you guys are able to move the one that's connected with the stone piece. It just oh, also okay. moves the stone piece as well. Oh, okay. Let's fiddle around with that, I guess. Sounds good. All right. Give it a little tickle. All right, in that case, I want you guys both to give me a sleight of hand roll. Oh, dirty oh, 20. Holy shit, dirty 20. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, so, as mm -hmm. you try to, like, fiddle around with these, the Doug takes one of the stones you guys can mess with, and he mm -hmm. accidentally, like, he doesn't accidentally, he pulls it out. And when he dies, so he could move it, he accidentally smacks you right in the <laughs> face with his elbow. Oh, 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 no. You take ah! two points of damage, and you are knocked back. Doug, after doing this, um, you placed your piece in, and you finally, you don't know what it is, but you find something clicked. And you yes. move the one of your pieces kind of like a round um, and it connects with this random piece that kind of looks like um, like a slice of like a fat slice of pizza. Mm -hmm. And you realize that they connect at the same moment that happens. You realize that you actually completed a circle. Oh, oh my God. And Ozone, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> and your stones start. Uh, the glowing stones, they fade. And you, you know, kind of look at it and you see that there is a single piece right in the middle, a very small circular piece, probably around the size of the palm of Ozone's hand. Can I lick it? Yeah, you can lick it. <laughs> okay. You guys... Kind of like stare at it, you know, you guys are chit chatting and whatnot, and then you hear like a click, like a thud. And you turn around right. and you guys like look at the circle, you know, again, and you see that hole has been filled. Oh. For a moment, nothing has Whoa. happened. And then suddenly, the stone circular tab, it starts to glow that nice blue light. And then there's a sudden flash of light blinding the two of you. Ah. Ooh.